On today's episode, you're going to be learning how to catch fish on streamers. So this can be applied to bigger rivers, tailwaters, any stream that has a sculpin population in it. These tips I'm going to be giving you can be applied to that. So, take this, run with it, and I hope you guys catch some good fish. Let's quit jibber jabbering and let's get to fishing. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Tri-Cities Trout. Today's going to continue the second episode of the Small Stream Adventures. Join me and my friend Blake as we wade up and down the creeks in search of big brown trout and rainbows. This episode took some work. They didn't come easy, and they usually don't, especially on the fly and fish in a small creek. A lot of these small bodies of water don't really have high numbers of fish in them. Populations are pretty low, so you can go miles and miles and miles and not see a fish. And that was the case on this episode. Broke a couple rods, but we caught a couple fish. And as I always say, you gotta pay your dues in fishing or really with anything in life. But we paid our dues and we got paid back big time. So like I said, join us and stick around because we caught some awesome fish. And if you enjoyed this video, then please consider liking and subscribing. My main goal with this channel is to inspire people to get out more and to get into fly fishing. And to also give you guys tips so that you can go out and catch more fish for yourselves. And really, we would have probably ran into more fish if we would have been, say, nymphing or throwing some smaller flies. But we were focusing on streamers. And with streamer fishing in particular, you're not gonna move a lot of fish. Like I said, we went miles and miles and miles. There was a few days we didn't even see one single fish. And that's the thing with the streamer fishing. It's not a game of numbers. It's a game of going out there and hunting for just a couple of bites. And really, if I go out for a whole entire day and fish and I catch one fish, I've called that a success. I'm cool with that. And I'm really cool with not even catching anything. Like I always say, it's nice just to be out there and enjoy the company of the stream. I'm sorry, I just wasn't expecting this on the first couple casts, but I think this is a big brown, I'm not really sure. But my dummy, oh, my dumb butt wasn't recording. No, it's a big rainbow, big rainbow. Oh, oh, that's oh. A big brown. no, it's a big brown, guys. Holy crap, he smoked that streamer, completely unexpected. Literally, first couple casts we were down here. Yes, all right, Blake, all right, head up. Oh, he's not ready, he's not ready. Dude, and my leader is so frayed. Yes, I didn't retie like a big dummy. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah! Holy cow! That's a big brown. Creek stud. First oh. couple casts, guys. Yeah! <laughs> oh my goodness. Holy cow. Let me get some line out here. Holy crap, I just had a feeling, guys, that we needed to come down here. And lo and behold, that is definitely probably, what, Blake, 22? 22, 22, 21. Check out that streamer. Same fly I've been fishing the last couple videos. It's been putting in work on this creek, guys. I'm going to have a tying video for it soon, so you guys could uh, spin it up and fish it for yourselves. But what a fish. In this particular stream that I'm fishing, and I'm sure a lot of streams around the whole entire world, there is a huge population of sculpin, which is a small little minnow that basically lives on the bottom of the river. And that is a perfect imitation for those little small bottom dwelling minnows. And it just smacks these trout. And like I said, in some future videos, I'm gonna have a fly tying tutorial for that. But in general, pick a fly pattern that's got that darker, brownish olive color fish it at the bottom and you're gonna find success and you will hook some big trout if you fish it enough All right, Blake hooked up. Oh, 
Nice. Oh yeah, he's got a good rainbow. Solid. Woohoo. Yeah. Woo. Yes, sir. Hold that puppy up here. Again, guys. You come on the old jig streamer. Here, put him in the sun a little bit. Yeah, right, I'll get him unhooked and send him back. Guys, I'm telling you, this little jig fly, for some reason, in these creeks is just putting in work. I'll right, get up. Close little release of him. See you later, bud. All right, let's get it. Yeah, oh yeah, finally. Okay, I think this is a good rainbow. Oh man. Yeah, I'm not sure. I uh, got a little bit of a glimpse at him. He smoked that streamer in the ripple. I think it's a bow. Last time I thought it was a bow, it was a big brown though. Uh, I've not got an eye on him yet. Let's see, and rainbow, rainbow. Okay. Holy cow, what a pretty fish. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. Hang on, partner. Woo! Yeah, that is a beautiful rainbow. Definitely wild, he's got all of his fins. Dots on the fins. Minimal spots. Man, he's a cool looking rainbow. I'll take it. And once again, he smoked that jig streamer. Let's get him unhooked. Let's get him back in the water. We'll definitely take that. Especially after a long grind. I've been fishing for, I don't even know, a couple days now and I'm still fishless besides this little guy. So that'll definitely get my spirits back up. So let's keep grinding. Let's keep getting down the creek. Let's keep picking apart these pockets and see what we can find. Okay guys, so I just wanted to show you really quick on how to tie that loop knot. It's really simple, but it's super effective. It's awesome for these streamers. Like I said, it just gives it a whole other axis of movement. So you want to start with a loop in your mono. Just make a small circle, just like so. Hope you guys can pick up on that okay. Obviously grab your fly, run it through the eye. Now that you got that loop there, you want to run it back through the loop. Pull it through, and so now we're left with that. You want to pinch and wrap it around your line. I go about four times. Two, three, four, and then you got your loop still. Run it back through the loop and cinch everything down. And then that's what you're left with. Now I can kind of demonstrate this for you. See how it moves? Like I said, it gives it a whole nother axis of movement. It almost doubles the action on that fly. And then of course we want to trim our tag ends. Set that down. And then boom, that's what we're left with. Like I said, that fly is ugly, but man, does it work. 
All right, guys, I wasn't recording again. I think it's a good brown, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it's a nice brown. Woo! Oh, yeah. He's not huge, but man, that's a good one. Oh, crap, my net is stuck again. I'm gonna have to do my best to tail him here. Wait, wait. No, no, it's a brown trout. Yes. Woo! It's a beautiful fish, man. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah. Get your hands wet here. Man, he has been eating bait fish. He is full of them, guys. Check that out. Wild Brownie smoked the jig streamer once again. Yes, sir. Oh, man, it even looks like he's been eaten before. He's got like a dent in his back. Let's get him back in the water here. But yeah, he's been munched on before. Something bigger's gotten a hold of him at some point. Check him out. Beauty. Beautiful wild brown come on the streamer again. We're gonna let him back. Let's get one more look at him. But let's keep on slugging it out. Oh, I about got caught on that tree back behind me. I'm good, I'm good. I made it out. Man, come on, guys. Cooperate. The deep hole. There are fish in deep hole. Oh, here comes some geese. Coming in hot. Ah! <laughs> come on, deep hole. Oh man, I'm trying to let it get as deep as I can, but it's pretty swift, so the fly kind of ends up coming up to the surface, which is okay in some spots, but this one I need it to get deep, because it's a deep hole. Uh, I'm getting bumped, but not by fish. Definitely not a fish. It's that same big old chunk of rock messing with me. Yeah. Okay, what do we got? Oh, nice rainbow. Shee She's a fighter, boys. Get in here. No, he popped off. <laughs> Crap. Alrighty guys, that's going to do it for today's episode of Tri-Cities Trout. We caught some good fish and had a good time while doing it. And I hope you guys had a good time watching and coming along. Like I said, I really appreciate you guys spending your time here on the channel and watching my stuff. It means a lot. It keeps me motivated to continue doing this and pumping out videos for you guys. So, like I said, I appreciate it. And if you have any ideas for future videos, drop them in the comments below. And let me know what you would like to see more of. So... Like I said, I appreciate it. You guys have a good one.